We have data now. We never, ever used data before, not in this way. So for us to be able to go in with data and find holes and deficits and foundation gaps for students to help students that, had, that were low achieving, uh, that's where we've seen some of our greatest growth. Our high students are doing better and they are going further and they're being challenged to think in ways they've never been challenged to think before. But our average students are filling in subtle gaps that were holding them back, particularly in areas of math, where they, they were being successful, but they weren't excelling. Now we've identified why that is and what those root causes were, and we're able to fill those gaps and make them go further and help them to go further. We have our low students who just weren't fitting in in a traditional classroom because we were very, very traditional. They didn't respond well to the teacher just kill and drill kind of format. And so they're finding ways that they can express themselves differently. They're using videos and they're using on, and online supports, things that they never had before. So where, what started is with a very clear vision has morphed into something much, much broader than we ever anticipated. To track student data, I do review their playlist um, on Fridays or whenever the playlist is completed um, through independent practice, um, Dreambox, Data, MyHRW, and then BrainPop. And then I'll do informal assessments. I'll walk around the room, like I'll sit with the games and make sure they're doing them right, or I'll sit down and uh, work with students on their independent practice. Okay, so this is where I see y'all are having a problem with the game. You can put the smallest number on top. You don't have to, the way you flip them, you don't have to put the large number on top. You can put, and it'll make the game go a lot easier if you put the smaller number as your numerator. So now try to compare them. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. What should you do now if you wanna compare them? Find a common denominator. But if you had your fraction pieces, couldn't you compare them that way? I think there, are there some in the basket or did we take them out of that basket? And then, a lot of times, just the informal assessment will help me group them for the next day, my little guided group, because I can see the misconceptions that they're having. And so that's that's how data works more. And the map data helps us make the SMART goals and the dream box and everything for the extension classes.